This is not what I had in mind. Um, everything that could have gone wrong, went wrong. Starting with the very basic of things, the plexiglass that I used to hold the epoxy in, bonded to the epoxy, and now I can't even get the plexiglass off. Um, number two, I think I probably should have done multiple pours of epoxy, that way the bubbles would be less. And number three, and probably the biggest, is I think so many bubbles happened here because the wood has all these pores and all these little air bubbles are coming out of the wood and rising up. And what happened is the top cured quicker than the bottom. So I had all these bubbles coming from out of the wood and they would rise up and then they'd get stuck midway where it's curing. So absolute disaster here um i'm hoping some of you know what i did wrong um and if you did please let me know in the comment section i don't really know what to do besides scrap this entire thing so i'm gonna go take this to the bandsaw and we're gonna start completely over Alright, 
that was a lot of work, but we are back to where we started uh, the other day. I have all the wood done. The thing that I'm going to do differently this time is I'm going to put some urethane on the little silhouettes here. So hopefully they don't have any open pores and don't create any excess bubbles. So let's get to it. Round two, not much better than the first round. However, most of the bubbles are actually on the outer edges of this piece and the middle is fairly clear. So instead of scrapping this one right off the bat, I'm gonna actually take this to the bandsaw and see if I can carve out some of these bubbles, shape it up and see what it looks like with a little bit of cleanup in there. Hopefully this turns out okay. Let's get to it. All right, here's where we're at. Um, it actually looks better than I thought. There are a couple of pretty major cracks and gaps in the epoxy, some bubbles. Um, I think I can fix that though. I'm just gonna fill it with uh, more epoxy and then I'll have to sand more. That's about it. We're gonna go ahead and try. Now the only thing left to do is test this bad boy. Now I need to go get some meat. Oh. 
Overall, your weapon will kill. Overall, sir, your weapon will kill. It will kill. Well, I'm uh, pretty satisfied with how this thing turned out. Obviously, there's still quite a few blemishes in this epoxy pour, but compared to what it looked right after the pour, it is a world of difference um, and something that I learned a ton from and hopefully it'll help me better be able to work with epoxy in the future. Now if you have any knowledge on what I did wrong or how I can improve my epoxy game, please let me know in the comments. I'm a newbie at epoxy and any little help would help me tremendously. So leave me a comment, give me a shout out. Don't forget to subscribe and check out all my other videos. All right, thank you for watching.